Quirky or quirky or whatever it is. I thought we liked one in the mission. Honestly, I think I think we've already kind of like stolen things, so we should just move on. Uh, and then we'll take care of everything that will happen off the after. Thank you for taking the motion to record. So, once again, for the afternoon, it's 11.1 from the Nature of Canary Nation. Before we start, there's a motion by Director of Sustainability, second by ICC Plus. Before we start this action item, I do want to say that at the chair of this meeting, I'm not going to tolerate any comments uh, that are not adequate. Uh, I am asking for full per, uh, professionalism, and I am very serious when I say that I'm not tolerating any BS. Um, I know how uh, sensitive this issue is, and so we need to be as professional as possible. All right, with that said, uh, you probably know that we usually bring up action items before as discussion items, and then we move on if we want to vote on it and put it as an action item. If you guys want to have extra time, it is completely fine for us to postpone this for the next time. If you guys don't even want to vote on this, we can withdraw it. So we have plenty of flexibility on this one. So, you might be asking Isabel, you first said that bringing this kind of issues to the edge board is not what we should do. What are you doing now? So Hisham gave me a reasoning that I want him to say, why do I believe and why uh, we believe that this is relatable to our students. So I'll let Hisham speak and explain why we should vote on this and then we'll let discussion happen, okay? So again, if we don't want to vote this as a board, we can do that. If we want to vote, it, vote on it as a board, we can do that. If we need more time to discuss, we can do that. Sounds good? And again, absolutely promise. So just to remain pure, as purely objective as that's possible, as can be, I'd like to share a report that I have from Palestine Legal, their pro bono organization that deals with these issues. And I talked to them when I turned 20, so that was fun. So I'll just start the report. If you want to be more than happy to share that, if uh, everyone got any questions, please feel free to stop me anytime. So I'll start. I'll just skip it between here. Students and faculty who support Palestinian rights are systematically intimidated, harassed, falsely accused, and targeted with frivolous legal complaints, according to Palestine Legal Year in Review, blah, blah, blah. As students and faculty across the U.S. increasingly engage in critical discussion about Israeli policy, the Israeli government, and its proxy organization in the U.S., investing heavily in punitive measures to intimidate and chill debate. According to Shannon Levinson, Israel, Israel is secretly using U.S. law firm to fight BDS activists and blah, 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 blah. The civil rights organization Palestine Legal responded to 308 incidents of suppression of U.S.-based Palestine advocacy in 2017 and nearly 1,000 incidents from January 1, 2014 through December 31, 2017. 84% of those incidents targeted students and scholars at 137 campuses at, across the country. Universities are central to an ongoing suppression campaign, as Israeli advocacy organizations frequently pressure administrators to censor speech supportive of Palestinian rights. Attempts to suppress campus speech rely heavily on anti-Muslim stereotypes. The attacks are laden with baseless accusations of support for terrorism and false accusations that those advocating for Palestinian rights are motivated by anti-Semitism. I'll skip a bit forward to where it talks about Canary Mission. Again, I'd be more than happy to show this to anyone. Canary Mission is a shadowy blacklisting website which maintains an online catalog with detailed profiles of over 1,900 individuals, including their employment history and links to their social media accounts. The site formed in the summer of 2015 to document the people and groups, quote, document the people and groups that are promoting hatred of the USA, Israel, and Jews on college campuses in North America. Over 1,000 university faculty have condemned the site as a defamatory intimidation tactic to undermine advocacy for Palestinian rights. Canary Mission defamed students and faculty members as terrorist supporters and anti-Semites and exposed them to harassment and violent threats by Israel supporters in online forums like Twitter and Facebook. Canary Mission contacts employers, schools, and law enforcement with false and unsupported claims that Palestine right activists supports terrorism, according to the citation by the Canary Mission overwhelmingly tar targets Palestinian, Arab, Muslim, and other students and faculty of color for harassment. Blacklisted individuals have been questioned by employers and graduate schools, interrogated by law enforcement agents, 
put on leave, denied bank accounts, and received death threats as a result of Canary Mission. And the citation is there, but I'm not going to read it, but you're more than welcome to see it. You're more than welcome to see it. Palestinian students, when returning home, have been denied entry at Israeli-controlled entry points into Israel slash Palestine. This leaves many members of these already vulnerable communities hesitant to even attend a meeting, make a public comment, or teach a course in support of Palestinian rights for fear that their employment, immigration status, and even physical safety are endangered. The Israel on Campus Co Coalition, which coordinates anti-Palestinian advocacy groups, recently praised the mission for creating a strong deterrent against activism for Palestinian rights. The ICC noted that fearing the repercussions for pub of, public of public exposure, some students withdrew their support for campus divestment, or others started their ties to anti-Israel causes. So that's all that has to say on Canary Mission. Now, my own personal opinion about that. According to the report, it does systematically target people of color a lot more. And I found it very, very shocking when I found out that. Uh, I'm very sorry, can I yeah. interrupt you? Just so that we can introduce the discussion as I think it should be introduced, why do you think bringing this up to the vote of the AS board is relatable to what we do and to the student body that we represent? I think we should start with that because, you know, as I stated in my special report some weeks ago, we everything that we do here should be relatable to our mission and everything. So please state what the reasoning that you made to me and that is why I put it on the agenda. So I found a way to help this that I didn't really take much to heart. I know the concept of my character, the people that know me know who I am, and I believe that's the most important thing. When I found out that three other three other SMC students, both current or former alumni, have been placed on that website, I do believe that it's our duty as student representatives to show where we stand on this issue. Because this isn't even what's happening in the Middle East. We can't, we can't find peace in the Middle East. And I understand that. But it's about what we can do on our campus to show where we stand with our student population, especially in matters like these. Especially since when we leave this institution, we can at least show that students that are placed on this website aren't what the, aren't what the website shows, but rather what we truly see them as. So after I transfer, it would, personally, as someone that got blacklisted, and I can't advocate for other people, it would be nicer to have a send off from your from the from the educational institution that you graduated with saying that oh this is not what this person is, this is who this person really is. We know the content of this character, rather than taking the face value of this website, which I just find very disgusting. So it, it is a way to stand with these students that have been blacklisted. On camera. That is the way I am introducing this action item. This is not we're not voting on what's going on in the Middle East. Absolutely not. We're voting on where do we stand with what has happened to some of our students. Would it be possible to even show my profile? If per request of the board, if anybody wants to see it. Anybody wants to see it? Discussion. As the member from the public, you say is standing with solidarity, and we could, and we could even, you know, we could even re rewrite the action item so that our intention is even clearer. But thank you to the member of the public standing in solidarity uh, with the students that uh, were blacklisted in Canada admission. But very, very important concern, how we want to make sure that our intent is clear and that we're being neutral on the conflict itself. Um, yes. So are we going to release the statement as a board or is this the statement as voting? No. So the, the action item states condemnation of Canary mission, so it would the, the understanding on the minutes, it would say that the AS condemns Canary mission, but I do believe that, they put a good picture. and again, that's why I do believe that maybe we need two that's sections of discussion on this. It should be clear, maybe as, as uh, Kimberly just stated, and it should be worded in a different way. Maybe it should be worded uh, 
the AS board has stand in solidarity with the students, with our lesson students who have been blacklisted by the Canada Mission. Maybe that is something that we want to do. Uh, if, if there is a motion to change the wording of the amendment, we can do that as well. Can they show his arm? The amendment would read, uh, the AS board stands in solidarity with um, the, the, uh, the students that have been blacklisted by Canada. That's the motion that is being made by the director of sustainability. Is there a second? There's a second by the SEC vice Are there any objections to that amendment? There's an objection by the secretary? Okay. There's an objection, so we would need to vote on the amendment. Discussion on the amendment? Um, I just, well, I do understand where the, where the assumption is coming from. I don't see any reason why we would be hesitant about not condemning the website, because in itself it is. Because they didn't put it up. They didn't. Number why they can't change. And if you excuse me, I do want to like some of these more questions. So that's okay. Can they put this potentially and clarify the wording? Because I personally, last year you say late, I was attacked by SUV. You say late, you're not trying. In addition to whatever they did, you know, they labeled us racist, you know, neo Nazis, a bunch of anti Semitic slurs. There are individuals on the website who are genuinely anti-Semitic. So if AS comes out with a statement that says we stand with all the people who have been blacklisted, that's wrong, and I can't stand for that. If we stand, you know, that's why, again, like, so you know, the alleged, you know, death threats and harassment should not be tolerated. I stand against that, whether you're for Palestine or whatever. They're, but there are genuine anti-Semites that we can't stand for. They're anti-Semitic themselves. And once again, I want That's to fucking incredible. you are representing the student body. So even if something is true to your heart and it happens to you, you should be voting, thinking of the student that you're representing on whether this is something beneficial He's been to them, right? Always uh, again, we're on the amendment, so Hisham, it's on, in, on the amendment. Well, I'm changing it, and I, wanna, um, and I just want to go back to it, so the AS stands in solidarity. I think he's right. I think yes, he's they're standing in solidarity with the, with their ideology that they agree with. The SMC students who have wrongly targeted. Racist. Yeah. <laughs> Racist. Um, Alright, and this is a discussion for the AS board, so public please. Um, sorry. Yes, stand in solidarity with the SMC students who have been Either wrong or not. I don't know if that's the case. Okay. Who is it? Blacklisted by the website. Wrongly blacklisted. Yeah, if that's why I was going to ask. Alright. There is a motion and a second to that. What's that? So it's a con to that, um, to that amendment. It's a con or a problem. Well, I do understand where you're coming from, and I do believe like what happened is atrocious. I do know people that went there, and I told them that what what you did, pardon my French, but it was supremely fucked up. You shouldn't pardon my French. No, no, I, no. I'll be honest. I do not tolerate hate, and that's why I agree with it. However, this is a website that systematically, as the report mentions, does target people of color, and it does seem to target particularly pro Arabs and Muslims and using the stereotypes tropes. So while I do agree what happened is atrocious, I do see this as another form of perpetuating the same hate which we should not be sent with. That's why I'm calling for the condemnation of the website. Not that I'm saying that I agree with whatever they're saying, but rather the second that you start harassing people, having people start calling you up and receiving death threats, that's when I feel like that's a very big problem. That's why I'm saying it's not necessarily that everyone on the website is amazing, but rather you shouldn't be, rather credibility of the website should be called into question. In part, and I apologize for the profanity, but it is ridiculous. I just think you need to get really clear about what it is you're doing. Because you have actually right now, I hear three different the versions of what you're what you're saying. So just for your discussion to get really clear, are you condemning the website? Are you condemning the blacklisting? Are you standing with students? Those are three very different things. You need to get really clear about what that means. Condemn okay? the website. Standing with the Please. students does move into the realm of taking sides on 
the Middle East conflict. Um, condemning blacklisting is about an action that is happening, and condemning the website is taking a different, a, a different position, right? So just be really clear what it is you're you're trying to do. to the amendment because I feel like it's very confusing. It's going in a lot of different points. Okay. I like how it is now. We're condemning just the site. I don't really want to go into the wording because it takes more time and I don't feel comfortable. I would abstain at this point from the amendment. It sounds like a statement and that statement is very loaded and I don't feel comfortable with where it's going just like off the cuff. Right? Such yeah, a yeah, powerful statement. Amendment. But the way it is, it's fine. I, I, can, I can vote the way it is. So you're against. I do want to yeah. clarify. We'll take as much time as it needs for this to be well written and with the same. Because this is this is important as of right now. So time is not the problem. If we need more time, we'll just for the next meeting. But we're not going to rush in a decision. That's right. Do you want to clarify that? Another, is it about the amendment? Is it a con or a pro? It's a con. Yeah, a con. Go for it, and then we'll vote. So as mentioned, I am against the vote. Blacklisting students, I do believe it's wrong. And I would prefer we could postpone this to next week so that we can all clarify what we're saying. Because so we're just that's not another motion that's that's clearly another reason we're comfortable. I don't feel comfortable with the wording, but it seems that we are all against blacklisting and harassing students. We should do student leaders. So, so we'll go to the amendment, and then if there's a motion to postpone it, we'll just go ahead and do that. That's clear. Okay? So right now, we're voting. Changing the wording of 11.1 from condemnation of counter admission to the AS stands in solidarity with the SMC students who have been wrongly blacklisted by counter admission. If you vote yes to this amendment, you want the wording to be changed to what I just read, to standing in solidarity. If you vote no, you want it to stay as condemnation of counter admission. Is everybody clear on what we're voting on? That would be after the so as of right now, we're just voting on the amendment. One, two, three. Okay, good. Penis, we are voting on the amendment. If you vote yes to this, uh, you're voting to change it from condemnation of canon admission to the AS stance in solidarity with the SMC students who have been wrongly blacklisted by canon admission. If you vote no, it'll stay the same as condemnation of canon admission. Okay? Roll for On the amendment, once again. Director of Student Assistance. Vice President, Director, Director of Budget Management, Director of Publicity, Secretary Ney, Director of Sustainability, Director of Activities, Ney, Director of Student Outreach, ICC Chair, Director of Community Relations, not here, ICC Vice Chair, Nay. Director of Student Advocacy. Nay. Nay. ICC Communications Officer. Nay. Nay. The majority vote to change is not the past. It was taken there. I made to postpone uh, other action item 11.1. There's a second. Okay. Uh, I do want to say you guys want more discussion. We can still do a little bit more discussion today, but definitely postpone the voting. So we can do a motion to postpone the voting for next week and keep the discussion for a little bit more. Do you guys want to do that? Uh, do you still have your motion? Yes. We'll motion to so we do your motion. Okay. All right. What? What did we vote for? I voted. I amended a rewording of how it's written on our agenda, and we all majority voted it down. And I just motioned to postpone. <laughs> to postpone voting on item 11.1 until next week's board meeting. Is there a second to that? Second. So you can find your interest. Uh, 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 sure. 
Are we clear on that? So I'll give ourselves 10 more minutes to discuss this as if it is right now, and then we'll move it to our next board meeting just so that we started the work that we will be doing for our next meeting. Please don't go for it. Yes, absolutely. I'm so sorry. Do we want to postpone it? Are there any objections to postpone this? There's an objection. Yeah, we want justice now. Right. Take too long. Well, one of the reasons for me when I came up with you, when I personally wanted to come up with the word, I tried to in a way that would make as objective as possible. When you're voting to postpone, you cannot hear the objections and then you just take the vote. You can't, you can't have discussion over the postpone. I'll, I'll give it the. You, you can't. You just vote. So whenever it's a, this kind of a motion, you vote, you, you say. Is so it's a call, call the question kind of thing? Yeah, you, kind of, you just have to have the vote of whether or not you postpone it. If you don't postpone it, you can. So there's no discussion on it. There should yeah, be discussion on whether you're postponing or not. Or where does it say that? Those are the procedures. My question right. again is where does it say that? Okay. All right. Um, voting on do we want to postpone the voting? We'll still have to some discussion today, but the voting of this <laughs> action item for next week. That's what we're voting on. If you vote yes on it, you're voting to postpone, the vote, you're voting to postpone, you're voting for next week, and you vote no, you want us to vote on it today. I'll call for as many times as we need to, but let's make sure we're clear on what we're voting. Okay. So the vote is to postpone right this week's item to next week or not. So Director of Student Assistance? Okay, it's aye. Vice President? Aye. Director of Budget Management? Aye. Director of Publicity? Aye. Secretary? Aye. Director of Sustainability? Aye. Director of Activities? Director of Student Outreach, ICC Chair not here, Director of Community Relations not here, ICC Vice Chair, Director of Student Advocacy, ICC Communications Officer, the majority vote, I don't have to just the next week. All right, so the voting of the action item 11.1 has been postponed for next meeting. As of right now, we can do 10 minutes of discussion since it's the same that we're gonna have you know, next week, so What's the point of postponing if you're discussing? Uh, Paul Lake does not. Um, it um, seems like you guys are bothering some sort of. All right, wonderful. So we'll move stuff. on with our discussion. Ten minutes of discussion. We'll move on with our agenda. Then. All right. So just like they postpone the occupation. So one of the questions I wanted to ask is when I was making the structure of the sentence, I tried to make as objective as possible. I'm not taking sides in the conflict. I'm not trying to bring something from the Middle East to Santa Monica just a matter of where we stand on the website. And while I do understand that our rights, of course, standing in solidarity with students is important and fine, but what about later on if we have other students that are being blacklisted? You have to pass a resolution every single time someone gets blacklisted. You have to keep on doing this. And we just said, sorry, but can we just do one resolution that says we stand this way in this matter, we do not agree with this website. And I honestly just find it, I find the whole thing ridiculous. And if you look behind you, I mean, you're going to be house. My email address along with my SMC AS contact like information. And I don't know, maybe if you want to sign solidarity with the SMC with the people that have been blocked, I totally understand that. But I don't think that this website, like, I'm just surprised they have to respond to anything. That's just my personal opinion. I think that we're, uh, without harassment or about rewarding, it's very important because it's astrophysical what we're trying to do here. As she said, she mentioned, if we stand in solidarity, it does seem like we're taking a side on the conflict, correct? If we condemn the, mi the Canary mission, in a way, that's also putting a side on, putting yourself on side, that's my personal opinion. But if you're condemning the uh, blacklisting, I believe that is what we're trying to do here. We're condemning the students. But without the website, how does that right? even make sense? I'm sorry, I have to say something, but that's amazing. And that's sense. condoning oh, harassment. Nice. That's condoning harassment. Yeah. You guys are condoning harassment. You're pushing it one more week longer? That's harassment. That's literal. You're saying this is okay for one more week longer. You always do. You did at the last meeting. Alright. Might as well be here. So as I was saying, the report clearly says that the website does systematically target people and the people on the website do get intimidated, they do get harassed in real life, they do get death threats. So I don't understand that I see that in the last six or seven months. You're used to answer the question. You said the website is like, I can show you the report that I always need to post. And I can let one of the 
if there is anybody else that would like to participate. If not, we can move on with our agenda and continue this action item on our next meeting. Yes, Alex. Um, I would just like to um, tell the board that we're gonna discuss this next week. Um, so inform yourselves uh, if you could send us some links and then we can find some other links as well to see whatever sites. Um, so when we come here, we're not completely ignorant on the issue and we come prepared uh, to have an actual discussion and not going back and forth of like what we're doing. Thank you, Alexa. If there are no other comments for the discussion, we will go on with our agenda. All right, let's do it then. So moving on to our discussion items. Um, the first one is 12.1. It's resolution in support of SB 50. 